Hi Machine, good morning. Today is and will continue to be a beautiful day. How are you? Um, where am I at? Still here in the middle of fucking nowhere, Virginia. Now I have made an official plan. I'm saving up money. I think I'm gonna wait until 420 to leave because that's after yeah that's after fucking uh Janae's birthday and Auntie Sean's birthday and my mom's birthday I thought about leaving earlier like right after the birthday but then I was like you know what I might as well finish out that last bit you know but it's like at some point bro you gotta kind of pull the plug you gotta kind of be like okay you know what man I can't just live for everybody else's birthday. I got to live for my own life. Um, so I really need myself to go hard, man. I need, need, need myself to go hard. First, above all else, in self-care. I need to be at my best so I can give my best. Secondly, I need to be giving my best effort toward my creative endeavors. That's what I want to do with my life. I hate that fucking sound so goddamn much. Fucking rash. That's what I want to do with my life. I want to be a creator. I want to be an artist. So I need to be focused on that. I need to be practicing my craft. You know what I mean? Third, when all that's said and done, I need to get the money. It is not hard, dude. Yesterday, 9 fucking p.m., I logged in. Made fucking $70 before midnight. It's too easy, dude. You know? It's too easy to make at least enough money to save. You know what I mean? Even with all the money that you spend on gas and weed and food and whatever else, you know, it's like, dude, dream a little, would you? Golly. But yeah, so going to be working hard toward that. Yesterday night, I was, um, I was actually in this parking lot. I ended up leaving in the morning and I'm back here now. But anyway, yesterday night I was here, uh, in the parking lot and I was on Twitter. I normally don't talk too much on Twitter spaces. And usually when I do open a Twitter space, um, they don't let me be a speaker. I just have to listen and that's, it, that can be fun. That can be fun. But you know, at the same time, it's like, can a nigga get something off my, can I get something off my chest? Um, and you know, I, I don't think that I would do too good at stand-up honestly but when we're talking about speaking or communicating with a crowd okay or writing something long form man i think i really got it i really do i mean these people were dying man these people cracking the fuck up you know every day i worry i'd be looking at my tip my twitter followers you know maybe every now and then it'll go up one and then it'll go down two or whatever uh, and I, I joke about it, but at the same time, it's like, damn, this kind of hurts my feelings. You know, these people, these people, <laughs> these people followed me on Twitter for my tweets. And then I kept on tweeting and they realized, oh shit, I don't like this guy. And they unfollowed him. And I, sometimes that kind of hurts my feelings. Um, but seeing how fast they all came in when they all connected with me on a personal level there, even people who are generally more difficult to, um, uh, uh, get a follow back from, you know, just because they're kind of, they got a higher ratio, frankly. Um, you know, people with thousands of followers following me, I mean, that could be a big break for me, bro. You tell one good joke, somebody retweet it, boom, you're on. Now you, now you got niggas looking, you know. I tell myself all the time, this, this, this new economy that's being set up on entertainment, followers are, are equivalent to gold, man. They really are, especially if you got something to offer them when they show up to the door, you know. So really think about that. Don't ask about it. Don't don't look at what this nigga's doing about it. Think to yourself. You know what I mean? What what the implications of that are and how far that can go. Uh I think more I think most importantly what that means to me. You know what I mean? Because uh, a lot of my mindset on posting things online has usually just been like, oh, 
this is going to exist for a thousand years on the internet and then maybe one day you know it'll get a hundred views or i'll get a little cult following uh uh from people who live long after i've died sort of like a time capsule um but uh i mean that could still be the case it could just be that that time capsule is opened up a little earlier and people can get a look at it <laughs> before I die, right? Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe I could even make a little coin off it. Maybe. They say they sell prints. They're very talented artists. Uh, they're very practiced artists, more importantly. They practice, like, diligently. They take it seriously. And I should too. You know, I'm 24 years old. Like, every time I said I was 24 years old, it hit me with the with the Kevin Hart meme, the damn. 56 years old. Damn. Man. <laughs> 97 wasn't too long ago, back in my day. Okay. We still had a few things that y'all got now. But. I'm getting up there, man. And it's like. I always could have been more if I pushed myself harder. You know what I mean? So just just push yourself is all. Keep it up. Keep being yourself, dude. No matter what. No matter what anybody says. Just be your fucking self. Uh, this guy over here, that guy over there. Her, him, her, him, them. Those guys aren't going to like you. But, you know, maybe this nigga will. Mm -hmm. Maybe this nigga will. And maybe you will. So. Um... What should I call my followers? I've been thinking about that, actually. Not thinking diligently. It just kind of is something that I've thought about before. It's coming up again now. Um, so my, my, my at or tag or name or whatever. My, my stage name is Dee's Collier because it just works. I don't want to explain it. My, <laughs> my tag, though, is Donate Hilltop. Um, and I don't want to explain that either. But I could be like. You, you guys, <laughs> if there are people here, you guys could be like the donators, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you guys could be my donators. Um, and then we just like spell it wrong for comedic effect. Uh, I've, uh, I don't know if you remember, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Loft. But he's this guy who used to do pranks on YouTube. I was never really big on the prank scene. And then pranks kind of fell off. And then he started doing uh, different kinds of content. And then that kind of fell off when the pandemic started. Um, it's so weird to say when the pandemic started and think that that was like damn near three years ago now. But anyway, uh, uh, what was I saying? There's a lovely bird out there. Just going about his day. I don't remember what I was saying. Oh, loft. Um, and I don't want to be insensitive about it, but the truth is, for the time being, his content has kind of fallen off and he doesn't get, he, he probably averaged like 20,000 views and he has 2 million subscribers. Um, and that's enough one that's enough uh but two he's been watching a lot uh, of his videos lately um <laughs> uh i don't want to i don't want to be um i can't think of a word and i'm not gonna make one up but i was watching his videos and i was thinking to myself wow this guy kind of acts a bit like me <laughs> Uh, he he kind of he kind of reminds me of myself. I don't know him too well, so I can't I can't really say that with too much confidence. But I really identified with his with his videos to say the least. Um, I've been watching a lot of them. Just a just a regular guy that talks to a camera, you know. Why is that got to be a whole thing? You ever wonder? But anyway, I have uh, 
a lot of big things to do today so get them done enjoy life live splendid and abundantly smash that fucking like button bitch <laughs> and uh we'll see you on the next one